the cocktail, 10 anniversary. Can you believe it's been 10 years? I know, it's hard to believe, it really is. Did you imagine 10 years ago when you had your first little group down here in New Orleans that it would ever become anything like this? Uh, no, I don't think I imagined that, but I think that I did imagine that would have some impact. I am with the Dame Hall of Fame Pioneer Award winning Charlotte Boise of our good friend at William Grant and Sons who have the most amazing brands. And speaking of those brands, Jim Ryan is up for Best Brand Ambassador again. Yeah, Jim Ryan is our Hendrix Ambassador out of New York and he so deserves this award. So my fingers and cucumbers are crossed. <laughs> this lovely lady is Bridget Albert, nominated for Best Bar Mentor. It's lovely to have a woman in this category. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm really thrilled to be nominated. It means a lot to me. I am with Jim Meehan and Chris Gall. You might have heard of the PDT cocktail book. It's taken the world by storm over this last year. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you very much. For best cocktail book. Tell us about your process of writing the PDT cocktail book. After doing six food and wine books and four uh, Mr. Boston's, I've sort of been developing a concept. So between that experience and just you know collecting old beautiful cocktail books and wanting to sort of synthesize all the data, that's kind of where it came about. This lovely lady is Lindsay Nader, an awesome bartender from Los Angeles, who's one of the judges. Tell us, how do you judge something like this? Um, it's quite an undertaking, um, but I think it's really important. And uh, luckily this year, they really expanded it to not just the Northeast, which has kind of been the focus, I feel, in years past, but to the entire country, because every city really has amazing bars and um, amazing bartenders. So for our small screen viewers out there, you may know Dave Stolte, who has a book called Home Bar Basics and Not So Basics, and a show on our network by the very same name. He made it in the top 10 uh, people nominated. Congratulations Thank for you. that. Thank you. Tell us about, uh, about your book. A little self-produced book. I, I'm a designer and illustrator, and I just sort of put this out as one project to see where it would go, and it's snowballed, and somehow I made it onto this list of the 10 nominated books for Best New Cocktail Book. It's Eric Alperin from Los Angeles, who has not one, but two, but three nominations. Go LA! Tell yeah. us about your nomination. So your best bartender, best American bar, best yes. bar in the whole like universe that ever existed. We got, we got a triple crown on our hands. So I'm um, very honored to just be on that list, on those lists. And uh, we, we, we actually feel like we've won already uh, because, um, you know, it's, a, it's good company. And Julie Reiner is back on the red carpet, nominated again. Congratulations. Thank you. You have three nominations. Three nominations. We're so excited. Um, it's, you know, it's just, it's so great to be listed with all of those other amazing bars. And, you know, just to be a part of the conversation is great. So if you've been to New York, you have been to employees only. And this is Dushan Zarek, one of the uh, brilliant minds behind that amazing place. And fantastic party at Tales. Thank you. And this year, you're nominated for Best International Bartender. How do you become the best international bartender? What do you bring to the bar? Just like behind every successful man, there is a very successful woman. Behind a great bartender, there's an even better bar back. I am so excited to be with these ladies, Tracy and Jen from Invite Magazine, and this year nominated for Best Book, Best American Cocktail Book. That If you've seen the book, it's really cool. It goes by drinks through states throughout the United States. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The book was so much fun to put together. You know, just working with bartenders across the country with ingredients that they're really passionate about. And uh, we're in such good company tonight. It's just an honor to be a part of this all. So you watch Small Screen Network, you know Kathy Casey. What sort of trends have you been seeing here at Tales this year? Well, I've been to some really great seminars. Um, I went to one today on Cocktails on Tap, which was really yeah. exciting. And I went to the Drunken Botanist, which was, I learned a lot. That it was, sounds it was great. very cool, all about like wild plants and edibles. And it, was, it was really, really good. This is Alfred Cointreau, sixth generation of Cointreau, which all of you probably have in your bars. I know we have it at my bar where I bartend. We pour Cointreau all day long in our silver margaritas. How are you enjoying Tales so far? Well, pretty nice. I arrived on a Sunday. Yeah. It was an amazing week. 
I met a lot of people, uh, all old friends, a new friend. It was an amazing organization and pretty nice, yeah. We know you like Rom. That means you're gonna love Ian Morrell, who is nominated for the best global brand ambassador. Congratulations! How are you doing? How do you make that happen? Wow, um, I paid all the nominated guys, the judges, yes. extra rum, that type of thing. You pour, you just pour a lot of free rum for people. Pour a lot of free rum. I met Alexandre Gabriel from Pierre Ferrand Cognac. Best new product, the 1840. So congratulations! Thank you very much. We are very honored to be nominated. How do you blend history with innovation? I think it's a great question. Actually, the 1840 is a re-edition of the 1840 cognac that was, so it's blended, distilled and blended the way cognac was made in 1840 out of a bottle of 1840 that I have. You are presenting the Helen David Award. Helen David was your aunt. Tell us, you tell us. Well, Helen David technically was my cousin, Helen. Helen was the first person to put a cocktail shaker in my aunt in 1980. I don't know if you were even born then, but in 1980, uh, bartending was not what it has grown into today. It was uh, that in-between job, that part-time gig, what you did while you're finishing school. So Helen wanted me to be a chef, but my dad convinced her to make me a bartender. So she opened the Brass Rail Bar in 1937, along with her mother. Wow, and right after Prohibition. Right after Prohibition. It must have been hard. It was two women opening a bar. She was 20 years old. Wow. Uh, so I am honored and humbled and flattered that Tales, which really these are the Academy Awards of the bartending industry tonight, has honored Helen by dedicating the Lifetime Achievement Award in her name. Mr. Hendrick himself, Jim Ryan, nominated yet again for Best Brand Ambassador. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's great to be here again. Well, it's, yeah, and you deserve to be here again. I want you to share with some uh, of our viewers, how do you be a good brand ambassador? What are some of the things that people can do when they want to try to be one? A lot of bartenders aspire to that. Well, I think a uh, true aspect of humility is important. Um, understanding that every bartender that you speak to is the most important bartender on earth at that moment. And um, always having a great escape and covering your tail is super <laughs> critical too, especially in those moments where the night can get a little late. So those are a few tricks of the trade that I've managed to either teach myself or learn along the way. Jim Ryan and Hendrix Chen, very good pairing, both in the glass and out. Now you all can see why the Spirited Awards is my favorite event of Tales of the Cocktail. Hope to see you here in 2013.